Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. A battle born before the beginning of the 2012 legislative session is coming to a head. Governor Rick Scott told lawmakers to fund education and leave tuition alone. With level uh, funding of uh, the universities, they shouldn't be increasing tuition. Scott got most of what he wanted. Lawmakers passed a budget with no tuition increases, but at the same time, cut university spending by $300 million, asking schools to use reserve funds to make up the difference. But what happened here was just round one. The governor signed the budget, then vetoed a bill that would have allowed UF and FSU to raise tuition as much as they like. Do we get a motion to approve the minutes? Now it's the university system's board of governors turn to decide whether or not to raise rates. Most schools are asking for the max allowed by law, 15%. Chancellor Frank Brogan says good luck. 15% is going to be a tough ask this year because of the ongoing 15% uh, increases, but also knowing that the recession is taking its toll on everyone, and that includes students. I know a lot of students that took semesters off because they didn't have money to pay for school and things like that. You're afraid they'll price students out of a college education? Pretty much, yes. That's what it's looking like. As, as long as we keep on this upward exponential trend, people aren't going to be able to go. Even if schools raise tuition the max amount, it will only make up for about a third of the state funding cuts. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.